Hello and welcome, people of the internet. Starshot Sky back to stream today. To uh, this time, New Game Friday, as uh, tradition, I've, I've I've been doing for a while. Uh, today we are now playing The Witness. Now this was a game I uh, was very much interested in in playing when I first saw it uh, back at E3 when it was announced originally for the PS4. Of course, it took quite a while for it to finally get here, and then when it finally did, I, I, I didn't really pick it up right away. But, you know, <coughs> I did eventually find it on sale on Steam, so I figured, hey, why not go ahead and give this a try and see just what it is we get to play through here. <coughs> I've always enjoyed puzzle games. You know, all the different uh, ways of trying to solve a puzzle I've always enjoyed learning the rules and then figuring out how to solve it or in the bigger mystery behind stuff like that it's always piqued my interest and I've of course played games like uh, Talos Principle and the uh, plenty of others I guess that well pretty much Talos Principle is very much its own interesting genre in terms of puzzles and things like that and Portal as well as another good one so I figured why, and now as good a time as any to maybe take things a bit slow, you know, uh, recenter ourselves from the excitement from Fortnite and Dota 2, and just simply walk around and solve some puzzles. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we get started, though, I have uh, one quick message to send out. Get in line. Hmm, okay. Well, right now it's trying to do controls in the way of a controller instead of uh, my mouse and keyboard here, because I always have a controller plugged in. But it looks like it's kind of trying to teach you how things go from the start. So. Which I guess works, but maybe a controller would be better with kind of how it's trying to do it. <coughs> Since right now, because of how the line puzzles are, I, I have to kind of drag it. Well, this is kind of nice. Got a little table here, a lovely little garden. The flowers are nice. And so is the sky here, too. It'd be kind of weird to just apparently just sit here and just watch as the world goes by instead of continuing forward over here with uh, apparently the giant fence with a light pole sticking out and that's the other problem with hitting your mouse around too Let me try this with controller here, see how well this works. Because it's not really an, like an action-packed game. But then I haven't tried playing Fortnite this way either, but it's mostly because of the whole gun shooting. I feel like it needs to be a bit more, uh, uh, like I can be more accurate with the mouse anyway. Hmm. 
Alright, okay. Well, I guess this seems alright, trying to use the controller compared to the mouse and keyboard. Hmm, there's no power going to this, I guess, so... Well, I guess I should be following the line, shouldn't I? See where they go. Oh, okay, it, it went over here. Hm. Yeah, I guess there aren't that many options in trying to get somewhere, so... Yeah, but let's see, it goes up here, through there, over here. Yeah, it kind of actually ends right there, so is that kind of how it's... Okay, not quite. Just coincidence, I guess, for that one. Okay, so we have this guy here. Oh, and it looks like it's another puzzle, but it's not completely yet until these two uh, lines are powered on. Which is kind of nice that uh, they sort of give you a clue. Oh, and hey, I can actually see my character here, Shadow at least. That apparently, yes, we are a character model of some sort, not just a floating arms and, you know, uh, legs here. Hmm. Well, yeah, if I want to get to that spot, I need to, I think, maybe go from this side here. Alright, here we go. So even though there were two different starting points, only one of them kind of led to the to that point there. So now we just need to follow the other line here. See where it goes. Up and over. But I don't think it's over there, so I think it's hidden behind over here. Oh, hey, and there's a nice little couch bed thing here. Can I sit on it? Apparently I can get really focused on those line puzzles if I want to whenever. Oh, well. There are two points this time. Okay, let's see where do we have to go to... Okay, I, I'm seeing it now. So we have this line that we opened, but there's still this line that doesn't go off either. But then, where does this line I activate go now? Yeah, apparently there's a bridge up here. But who knows how I get there. Oh, there's that bridge again. I guess maybe I'm supposed to go open the other path, I'm guessing. 
to op to power on this line here, not the line behind here. So supposedly there should be another path that leads to this spot here. Oh, hey, been Bean Without Borders, how's it going? Just trying out uh, wit the Witness for the first time here. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I got so many viewers already. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. So, I guess I should be accessing this panel now. Oh, cool. Yeah, glad you you love it. I'm, I haven't as I as it kind of says on the title here. This is my first time playing it, so I'm just starting to learn about it. But I was like, I am familiar with uh, the author's previous work. I, I forget his name now, but I remember he's the one who did Braid, which I really enjoyed. So I figured I would try out his next game and see how this uh, worked out. So I got the door open now, but I guess I'm still curious about that other puzzle I had, or the other pathway for over here that I saw. Yeah, that's that's a question I'm sure plenty of us uh, would love to, or be able to do sometimes, if we could just simply experience something again for the first time. Uh, you know, that I feel that way with quite a few of some of the older games I've played when I was a kid. And so, I maybe that's one reason why I've always gotten into trying to play new games. And man, the graphics look awesome here, actually. Like, it, it's, it's kind of like a mix between realistic and artistic, almost. Like a water painting. They really did a really nice job. And then it is kind of nice to even have the touch with the shadow here. They actually looks like it has a full model, even if you can't really see them right now. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what the left, uh, st what the left is supposed to do. Oh, okay, it's actually a sprint. Okay, I guess if you wanted to really run through this game instead of taking your time, I guess. It is really nice the color they kind of chose for this game because I feel like uh, too many games are very muted most of the time or, you know, usually just stick with kind of one color palette. Okay, we got a... looks like some sort of door here. Or some sort of puzzle. Okay, we got openings here and then I'm guessing these... No, they don't block. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there are multiple nodes here and multiple parts here, so... I'm guessing I have to... Oh, okay, and they actually turn a certain color depending on what they go through. So this one, no matter what, would be black, I think. So, for example, if I did this, then that goes black. So, if I avoid it, and end here, oh, it still goes black. Okay, maybe it has something to do with these things. Uh, first time figuring out a puzzle, you kind of try and learn the rules, even if you no one gives you the rules. It doesn't seem to stay. Oh well, maybe I'll come to this one later. 
feel like I need a bit more info before I try tackling that one. Okay, we got some panels over here. And we got this green one right here with what looks like some sort of old wood paneling. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to actually cover them before I can uh, complete it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's how it goes. And then on to the next one. So I'm starting to get the hang of it now. And I guess this does feel a little bit better using a controller instead of uh, my mouse and keyboard so far. Oh, no, that doesn't work. There we go. Now this one has two nodes, but I think we should start with this one. Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Well, let's try going through this one here. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, just missing that one here. Oh, okay, I think I, I sort of see what I need to do here. No, that's not going to work. Because then I go around and like that. So... Hmm. Yeah, it definitely does take a little bit trying to figure out how the puzzle should go exactly here. It's, uh, it, like, I, I know, I still remember one comment a person made when I, when I was excitedly talking to him about this game, about how he, uh, oh, it's all, it's all just a bunch of line puzzles. <laughs> you know, and, and that seemed kind of a bit, uh, and too offhanded comment to, Oh no, that's not work. That doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, I think I see it now. Yeah, you know, but it is definitely a lot of line puzzles. But I guess these puzzles themselves are fairly, you know, they aren't simple. For the most part, you do have to. There is plenty of thought in. And it looks like there are a few different per permutations they've kind of incorporated into this. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's start here. There we go. Of course, I'm not sure what that did. Completing all those green ones. Since there's still these blue ones over here. And now there's still that white one I need to go back to. Okay. I'm still not certain what the uh, what these two blocks are supposed to... Oh, okay. I need to... Like, maybe I need to... Oh, okay. That's what I need to do. I need to make sure that they apparently have something blocking between the two. So, like this one, for example, I have to go like that. Hmm, would it just be an? Or no, I'd probably that probably wouldn't work.
Hmm, okay, yeah, I definitely have to block that one off. Or... Yeah, that didn't work. Hmm, yeah, so I need to... Pretty much cover these two lines here. So if I just do this... There we go. Okay, yeah. So that's kind of the main objective, is trying to block out the whites from the blacks here, which sounds a, just a tiny bit racist, sorry, if, if that offends anyone, but that was not what I intended. <laughs> you know, that, it, it, I just, you know, that's just, I'm not trying to make any assumptions. Yeah, it, it is. It is definitely refreshing that uh, that uh, he does try to incorporate the idea that you know the player doesn't need his hand to be held, and you know, this one's kind of you know, it's just sort of backwards. There we go. Of course, just because those two are nearby. Hmm. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Actually, why why was I doing it the other way? Anyway, doing it this way should work just as well. There we go. Oh, it, of course, I missed that little spot right there. Let's see. Hmm, I know I need to cover this spot, and I need to cover down here and around, so... This one I have to, I pretty much have to cover from all four, or from the three sides at least. So I need to go from above and go like that. There we go. But yeah, so this is definitely, um, I definitely see people getting plenty of uh, mileage out of this game so far. No, let me... Let's see, maybe doing this backwards would work. Let's see, and then this one's kind of the same as the last one here, having to cover the three. There we go. Yeah, that's... Uh, or, no, that's not going to work because of this this black one over here on the side. No, that's not going to work either. Here we go. That should do it. Wait, how does that... Okay, that seems weird that it was complaining like that. Because I thought I had it covered. Okay, yeah, there we go. Got it that time. So I've completed all these line puzzles. Is something supposed? Well, I'm guessing I'm unlocking something here, but it doesn't really tell you. Oh well. Now that we have all the knowledge we should need af after those two puzzles, we should be able to open up this door that I mi uh, I missed over here. 
now that I understand what it is, it sort of wants me to do. So I need to cover each of these black dots as well as separate the uh, white and black uh, blocks here from interacting. How does this... Well, no, it's not going to work here then, is it? Because if it wants me to cover all the lines and dots and all that, I don't see how well that would work for that one there. Yeah, I just need to do it this way, and they're kind of done there. And blacked off there. Blacked off there. No, uh, it doesn't, well... Okay, that doesn't get them all, though. So this is one of the harder ones, just because of how expansive it is. I feel like this is the good one to do here, though. Hmm, is that it? Oh, no, I guess... Oh, I think because of... No, I blocked that one off there. Hmm. I thought I got them all. Wait, let me... That blocks that one off there. Or go over here. Yeah, I feel like this should do it. Because I have all the dots covered. And have each black and white separated. So they shouldn't... This should be the answer. Or do I, Well, no, there, there's no... There shouldn't be any problem here. There shouldn't be any problem here. Shouldn't be any problem there. I guess I'm wondering if this one needs to be cut off here or not, but this one, this line here is blocking it, so it shouldn't uh, intersect with that at all. Or... Hmm. Okay, it would be nice if it could tell me what's the problem. Because I feel like I got, that should have been the right answer. Or at least the way I did it seemed, should be working. Or do I need to well, no, there's no way I could intersect into each of these points here, if that were the case. Or, let's see. Okay, yeah, I can I Okay, that's what I was missing. I don't need to do it all in one line, because I do need to intersect to these points here. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Well, and I, I, and this, uh, it also does look like you can kind of finagle your way to doing stuff like, uh, multiple lines here. Or, okay, no. Okay, so I was doing it the right way then.
Yeah, I went this way because that's kind of how it worked. Because I need to cover that one. Hmm. Well, I feel like that should cover my bases just in case. Oh, okay, I think I see it now. There's It's this guy here because of him not being cutting off from here might be the issue. So I do need to, I need to cover this from almost four sides. Or at least from the top and bottom, I think. Okay, so I do need to go through that. I need a bit more space if I want to do that. Oh, that wouldn't work. There we go. I think that should do it. Hmm. No, actually there's still this line here, which I'm wondering if that's somehow intersecting with that or not. So, but if that was the case, then... Okay, yeah, I think that's might be the issue I'm having here. Okay, yeah, I, th I see it now. There we go. Okay, it took a while. But now we have this door open. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's quite interesting just to see this... Well, like, this puzzle itself, y you know, was a bit hard to figure out, but then kind of once you saw it, it, it really kind of opened things up. Oh, there's, of course, it's a just a simple line here to open it. Which then gives you a piece of paper with a honeycomb design on it. Can I pick it up at all, or...? I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this, or is this just simply a clue? Seems like it's just a clue, or something. And then there's the window up there that reminds me of Raiders of the Lost Ark from Indiana Jones. Like, there should be some sort of beam of light that shoots through or something to point at something. Hmm. Eh, definitely not getting anything over there, at least. Oh well. I'll just have to come back to this later if I learn something more about it. spend so much time staring at that wall for the puzzle and there's still this whole entire island to explore and just it really is gorgeous like I I don't think I can say this enough with just how nice of a job everything looks I'm pretty sure maybe that's what took most of the development time <laughs> you know I feel like the puzzles themselves are probably something they they probably did in their spare time and that all the all the money probably went into these graphics here. Uh, but the puzzles are definitely 
pretty, like, they do get pretty advanced after a while. But now I just need to figure out what to do next or where to go. I guess I'll just, I could just follow this path. Even if I'm missing out on the very pretty pink petals over there. See. Oh yeah, and just to re remind my viewers, if you haven't he heard already, uh, if you like kind of what I'm doing here, uh, go ahead and hit that follow button. I always appreciate the support. I'm hoping to get to 100 followers, maybe before the uh, end of the next few weeks here, but... Okay, this time it's it's actually doubled. Okay, that's pretty neat. And uh, because uh, I am, I usually stream Monday through Fridays. Uh, usually I'm streaming either Fortnite or Dota 2. But then every Friday I'll do a new game. Uh, whatever that new game is, I don't know. But it's something on my backlog of Steam titles that I have. And if you want to see me play more of that said new game, then I'll probably do that if you really want. Every Friday. I have a few games I've been, I've played through, but I haven't completed yet, so... Let's see. Okay, now we got some jars here, but we, I guess, can't do much with them. They, they look pretty, at least. They got some, kind of looks like the tile. Like it's kind of the, you know, you take a bunch of different tiles and put them together to form different shapes. Or, I guess, cover the pot that you make. So, this one actually looks like it could be used for a, um, a vehicle, actually. Same with that one, actually, if you do it from one side. This looks like a regular, you know, ba vase. They all, they are all are nice colors. So, but, it's very much like, it do does seem like the puzzles are really the, your only form of interaction so far. Like any of the other objects or things around, which look really nice, but don't really do much else. Like, this is obviously a kiln for pottery. Which is the point of those pots over there. Oh, hey, water. And apparently I can't go anywhere near the water. It's apparently terrifying for me, and I, I just can't possibly <laughs> walk in for fear of my life of drowning. Even though it looks really real, like it's, it's almost a mirror reflection here, which is maybe a bit too much. Since water, I don't think is this mirror-like, but eh, it's it's their decision, I guess. So, and then we got some more pottery. Oh, we got even a little sand castle there. <laughs> oh, isn't that just adorable? I'm sure some kid was around here playing, I guess, before uh, before whatever happened happened to this island. Even as beautiful as it is. You can assume something happened, or it wouldn't be as desolate with all these, with all this structure around here. So now we have a new puzzle type here, where we have to figure out how to uh, mu do mirrors, apparently, which isn't too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Takes a little bit of doing. Right, now there's a block there. There we go. Let's see, and then... Oh yeah, that that one's kind of being obscured a little bit by that, so... So we got these two, which is, I guess, all we need to do, and now we get to apparently see the open water and how there's a, a little panel here, which I guess is something we can do. Or not, yet. 
because it looks like there's a line of power I need to find first. Yeah, there's a supposedly a line of power here. Or at least that's what I'm assuming with the with this here. So I need to unlock that first before I see what's ever on there, I guess. Okay, yeah, I just need to follow this line here, and I think I should be able to find where it leads to. I guess that's the whole premise of this game, isn't it? You're following lines. <laughs> You're following the cables to other other puzzles of lines that you have to then complete to other lines. You know, I guess it's it. They're called the lines of power. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see here. So we go all the way over here to this. Looks like a door, but there's no panel here for the puzzle. Okay. So I guess we'll have to... Hmm. And here I thought I was heading towards something, but I guess not. Hmm. So I guess I need to find something else to unlock that puzzle next. Of course I do. It wouldn't be much of a puzzle game if you weren't trying to unlock more puzzles. And apparently this... Hmm. Looks like one of those snake discs for fireworks or... Uh, I'm not sure what else I would call this black monolith here. <laughs> Let's see. So, we got more... Oh, we got a whole desert area here. Oh, just feels like home here in Arizona then. Of course, this is more of a beach area, actually, which is really nice. So we got what looks like an elevator shaft, which we can't jump down to, sadly. And we can't really interact with what's ever down there. Hey, look, more lines of power. And, oh, this is... Uh, hmm, this seems kind of familiar, but I'm not sure from where. I know there. I think a lot of um, symbols kind of go for like the double diamond here. But yeah, still more wandering around, trying to figure out what to do or where to go. Like, cause we got all these panels here that I can't seem to access right now. So I guess I need to power these up with something. They definitely don't give you much to go on when you first start, but uh, I still, one of my fondest moments actually from a game exploring in recent years was actually with uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I got the chance to play through that game. Oh, hey, we, we actually got another giant symbol here. Oh, this is kind of cool. I feel like there's probably something more to it, but doesn't seem like I can do much with it yet. So, but uh, the like the the experience I had with Breath of the Wild was that as soon as I was done with the tutorial, I pretty much just said, "Hey, how about I go over this way?" And that's just what I did. <laughs> was, you know. That was kind of the experience I had with Breath of the Wild, is that I just picked a spot and just went towards it, and it didn't even matter what, which direction I went or why. It's just, hey, I'm going to go that way. Oh, this is so much fun. And I guess that's sort of what The Witness is going for, too, funny enough. That you really just kind of get sent off into this world and kind of just try, have to figure things out on your own. You know, running around, solving puzzles, and seeing if there's any you know, rhyme or reason for all this. Like, hey, what's this giant block here for? And can I do anything with it? Oh, no, not yet. It's, it needs some power. Yeah, there's some power right over running these lines, all the way down over in this ominous-looking factory here. I'm guessing it's maybe part of an old quarry or something. And, of course, I can't jump down, sadly. Oh, there's a stairs over here. That works. And actually, I can run pretty fast for whoever this guy is. Like, I could never see being able to consistently run like this for 
for probably as long as many hours as people came for. <laughs> and pretty smoothly too, like I'm not worrying about running into anything or jumping off, hurting my legs or anything like that. But, and another monitor, but there's nothing on it. Yeah, the, the, this is sort of interesting. Uh, when we can't find any puzzles, we can just run around like, like you know, it's like, whoa! It's we're running pretty quick for whoever this guy is. Must be an athlete or something. Okay, now I have to deal with a door which, which I can't seem to interact with or get through apparently. So, moving away and moving on. I guess that's kind of how this is. You either move on or you just figure something out. You know, and I guess they wouldn't want you jumping off areas and things like that, because uh, you might skip over things that they want you to solve. So, and there doesn't seem to be much uh, up uh, here I can do at least, so. Moving on! Almost feel like the flash or something with how quick I'm moving around here. Let's see. So, we got these stairs over here. And we got this path, which leads over here, which doesn't really do anything. So, even the terrain itself is a giant line puzzle you have to solve, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, at least they're playing major to the theme, aren't they? They're kind of keeping with uh, this whole game itself, in a way. Well, I guess I can see if I can make it over to this area here or not, which... So I can't go from here, though, but there is a path down further here it looks like I might be able to use. Okay, and we got our a new line puzzle, so now we can solve this one. didn't work. Uh, well, it, it isn't, well, they do, you know, do, they do put a lot of effort into trying to kind of make you play a certain way. And so you, you can tell there was a lot of planning involved into this game. Uh, even if it, it's very, you, it's very much just you kind of wandering around until you eventually find your way. Okay, now we have these angle, or these lines now that I'm now trying to figure out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to figure that one out until I get a few tutorials or something to let me know how, how to deal with that one. I guess that's maybe what those puzzles from before set up in a line with the increasing difficulty kind of are trying to teach you is that they are teaching puzzles for some of the mechanics they kind of implemented here which is is you know kind of what you sort of need to do if you want to teach players a way in some form and now of course we got the Fodum fall Fodum uh, not Fodum Autumn Island here oh and this is actually a really nice door too bad we can't apparently open doors here, or that they just sort of s seem to stay locked. But it is very pretty with the orange here. And hopefully they, uh, I'll be curious to see what they do in the future. If his company, if uh, Jonathan, you know, was able to make enough money from this project to continue work on a new game or not. I haven't heard much lately about it. Okay, so I came I came from that way. So and there's the door there. Okay, here's a path that leads to this area here with a bunch of empty panels. 
Oh, here we go. So now we've opened up to the this area here, which uh, has some line more line puzzles. Hmm. Apparently, he didn't want it to be that simple for me, so I. What was that sound just now? It sounded like something was turning on. Hmm. Okay, apparently that didn't really do anything. Nope, not nothing there either. Alright, well I guess I don't know how to solve this one just yet. Cause, you know, that that seems to be the thing, unless you until you get the rules. Oh wait, this door closed on me? Is that what happened? Huh. Of course, it's, you know, it's not really that hard of a door to open. But for some reason, it had to close on me, apparently. Oh, it's actually on a timer here, huh? Hmm. Oh, well. So now we have some more paths here that, you know, would have something open or active if I had turned whatever needed for this area on, but uh, sadly not yet. Yeah, so back to Autumn Island, or Autumn section here. See where we can go from here. We got more uh, pretty flowers all around us. We got this giant castle area here. Oh, I even got the sounds right with the echoing there. So now we got some life-size line puzzles now with these mazes here. Okay, so we got this one now. Apparently he didn't like me just doing it that way. Hmm, is this one of those puzzles where I have to like fill in everything or something? Hmm, maybe not, because I don't see how that would be possible in this case. There'd because there'd be certain sections that would be kind of open, like, I guess, is it maybe the way this puzzle's worked out? That the way I, or the path I took would be the same way I have to solve that one? Oh yeah, it starts here. Can't go this way. Can't go that way. So I have to go this way and up. until this path here. So if I were to see this in my head here, I would have to go from there to the left, up, and then to this point here, and then up here. So I think that's how it's done for this one. I thought I did it right. Yeah, I go around there, go forward until I hit this, because there's one, this third one here actually, which 
Yeah, one. Oh yeah, the third one. That's what I messed up there. Here we go. This should do it. Yep. Same way I traveled through this mage is how the answer for this one was. Ah, that's actually really clever. And, uh, but of course, you know, I'm not sure how easy that would be for some people to understand. Let's see, but I got that door open. And apparently I have this powered on. Which leads to that puzzle, I think, over here. So now I need to know which path I took this way. But yeah, it looks like I could just simply go this way, and that worked just fine. Hmm, maybe that wasn't how I went, or there might be another path here that I need to figure out. Okay, so here's the entrance on the far left, and I, uh, it's as easy as just simply going this way, but is there any markings or indicators? No, there's nothing specific on the on here. So there's really nothing telling you exactly, like the last one, with the walls kind of keeping you from going certain ways. Because we assumed, at least, that the starting point was the entrance there. <coughs> and that being able to... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's probably... Well, yeah, like... It, when you think about it in most games... Uh, m most developers usually try to have everything planned. But they always try to keep a random... Or an element of randomness sometimes, too. Just to keep things interesting I guess and and with just how game design normally is it's hard trying to make everything have purpose like for example the clouds for example are fairly nice but other than providing kind of a setting for you to be in I'm not sure if the clouds have any, any reference to the puzzles at all in this game or not even if some of them do look like a few shapes It would be nice to get a different view, too, of just the above, just to see. Hmm. So that's kind of the question I need to figure out, though, is what is this maze here trying to tell me? Well, we got these these two wooden things here, so I'm guessing here's the starting point, like I said. And that it's simple enough for me to just go on the outside here, like I did. Like, what I believe is possible for this puzzle as well, but... I tried that, and that didn't seem to be the answer. Hmm... Yep, definitely not that. As I said, it would be nice if I could at least jump on top of the bushes here. Just to get another view of it. But we'll maybe s look around here a bit. Okay, so this one's closed off until I solve this puzzle here. Uh, and we got some statues here. One of a... Looks like a woman wearing... You know, one of those fencing helmets. Uh, with this woman down here looking over this way. So yeah, it looks like she's... Hmm. 
Yeah, it kind of looks like she's looking at that guy over there. Oh, hey, I didn't realize I could actually step on these and it would kind of work like another line puzzle here. So we got the... Looks like, I'm guessing, the king here and the queen on the side who's looking at the musician over here, apparently. And we have this guy who's looking apparently over here past the wall for some reason. Or a, l a little bit almost like at them, and then there's these two pe two people here, but... Oh, I, is that how I interact with this thing then? Okay, so that resets it. So, but there are two black dots here. And there doesn't seem to be a starting point exactly. So, but I do have to, I'm guessing, cover those two points there. So then there's another point over here. Oh, and this is the starting point, though. It's kind of weird. It's, you don't really see it over here, do you? Or, no, you do. It's just slightly covered. Oh, and actually, I, I didn't go up there. Actually, let me go ahead and restart this, just so that I'm starting from the beginning point where this whole puzzle kind of works. So, but I start there. And okay, so on the second point here is where that black dot is. So we got that. So then I go north, but then take the next turn right. And then on the second point, take, go forward, and then turn there, or, hmm. Actually, I guess technically, the path I'm taking wouldn't work for this puzzle if I want to end up at this point here. So, let me restart this again. Oh, that's kind of weird. It doesn't show up on the line here, actually, even though it shows up on here, at least, as soon as I press it. So we start there. So I need to go north uh, to get to that dot. So I have an idea of what I need to do here. You do have to kind of be careful, though. I'm trying to remember how that dot looked now. Or yeah, it was, I believe, over here. So, and then I go that way, then up, and then I I'm, should be at the end point here. There we go. So that was a fairly interesting puzzle for that one, at least. Definitely took a little bit of doing, trying to, like, you, you kind of have to keep going back and forth, making sure you have everything right in your head. So, but we got these solved, and now these two people are saying hello to this guy here, who's too busy looking at the two women fighting or something. So yeah, now we got another one here, where we got these lines now. Let's see, so we start there, and I need to go forward. Let's see, let me double check here. 
Uh, no, too soon. Because I need to cut them off pretty much just right there. And that should do it, I believe. Oh, but because this panel here is broken, it doesn't work, does it? Uh, that's kind of frustrating. So y it's you can't do the simple route, can you? Hmm. So I have to take a different path here. Hmm. Well, they definitely incorporate plenty of new elements trying to keep this interesting. So, but no matter what, I sadly have to start here at this giant circle. And I do need to cut this off uh, up top here. So pretty much at this line here, I need to cut it off. So the question would be how best to do that. Maybe going through the center here. Oh, and there's this black one here. That's kind of weird. <coughs> but no, that doesn't work. As soon as I do that, it just sort of gets cut off. But then again... Hmm, does that work at all? That doesn't seem like it since it didn't you know, activate there. Hmm. I guess the problem is I have the two whites being cut off from the others, don't I? So this is at least how you would assume it should look like. So then the question is, how do I connect that dot to the rest of it without breaking the other two whites off? Hmm. I, I think I sort of see it now. I guess that doesn't work though. Probably maybe because that line isn't being connected at all. Yeah, this is one of the weirder ones I'm dealing with in terms of the puzzles just because of... Because it doesn't kind of give you the same constraints you're used to doing. So trying to be able to figure this one out is a bit more difficult to deal with. And then of course there's this block, or that, uh... Oh hey, there's actually something back here. I guess I'll take a quick look around here first. See where it leads. Oh, it even gives you a better view of the puzzle from above here at least. But like the the issue being that there's this that giant block and the weird black panel paint there. I'm not sure how much of a difference that'll make though. Then there's of course some a few more puzzles. Oh hey, we got a whole back yard area here. Oh hey, that's actually kind of interesting. I haven't seen sand patterns like that with the rocks before. Okay, so it looks like I've kind of found another area you can go to, and oh, <laughs> I 
Apparently there's a chair right here where you can just sit and watch the water. Huh. And yet they don't really give you the choice or interactivity of sitting in a chair, apparently. You'd think that would be something simple they could do. But oh well. So now we got this giant ship. Which is seems to be its own puzzle now too. Of navigating around it. Of course I'm now on a completely different tangent from the from the ship puzzle or from that puzzle I was working on before, and now I'm in here in this giant dilapidated ship that is sadly not much is left, but apparently there's a few lines here, like this one, which looks like it's symbolism for something. Oh, hey, so that's... Okay, so that is an actual thing here. But, well, hmm. Let me get a better angle on this. Darn it. Apparently this... There we go. Let's try it this way now. Oh, this is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> wow. That's actually kind of cool, being able to interact with the world itself. But I guess I'm not quite sure what that did. And that there's, looks like there's still more of the, that rope over there, but... Oh well, that's... <laughs> that's pretty neat. I'm not sure what it did, but I'm guessing it must have been important if they hit, had it hidden over there. Let's see, so now we can go to down these stairs. Or we can keep going down. Into the oh here's uh, here's a puzzle right here and of course some new ones that I haven't encountered before hmm. that doesn't let me go very far does it it doesn't really seem to signify to me what I need to do exactly here with that, so I'll just save it for when I learn more. I feel like that seems to be part of it. A lot of learning is involved trying to figure out kind of each of the rules for each of the puzzles that you don't know about until you actually find the tutorial. So, but now we're up here. So nothing over there. Oh, this Kind of looks like almost another line thing, doesn't it? Almost, but not quite. But then maybe I would need to be up on a higher uh, part here, actually, for it, that to work. Seem like there's much down here at least. Nothing I can do over here. All right, I guess after that little display we did with the um, with the rope section there, I guess it's time to move on to another part, or maybe I should see where that light em or went to. I guess after I had figured out that little line there. Because I saw it going that direction of that tower there. Oh, we got more line puzzles, I think. But I can't really... Don't think I can interact it with it that well from down here, at least.
this definitely does try to make you think a lot, doesn't it? Or at least that there are like patterns, as as you know, like as uh, being without borders mentioned that nothing is done without purpose. So let's see. Hmm. I guess I don't really have a good spot to view it from there. I think I have to get up there somehow. So I guess I need to get back to working on this puzzle here and figuring out how to complete it. Hmm. So I can't go that route. And I know if I go that way, I'm not sure if that would work either. Well, let me try and just reset this for now. And I'll see if it complains if I do it one way or another. If I can just simply do or go around from the bottom of the white squares here. Oh yeah, I, uh, you know, I was, uh, like, because just because of that ship I found and how apparently the, one of the ropes apparently led to actually being a line puzzle that then unlocked something on this island. I have no idea what. But now I need to figure out, uh, this one here. See, I'm guessing if I could just go around, uh, and through, maybe... Sadly, now, by the looks of it. Uh, sadly, that didn't work. I was hoping it could. It could. But no, it didn't. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing you still have to kind of follow the usual pattern in that I can't have lines intersect with each other. Of course, I should be able to plan this all out beforehand. I guess that's usually the thing with some puzzles. You can kind of see how it should go in your head first before you try to actually implement it. Hmm. So I already know I can't go forward and, you know, across like I, you'd hope to do originally. Yeah. I guess I have one idea that might work here. I'll see if it actually happens or not. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, it actually even 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 did that too. So yeah, I guess the issue is I didn't fully complete it. And that the white squares of course are being cut off. Hmm. 
So, of course, the obvious answer I can't do because, you know, the, one of the panels is broken. And yeah, as far as I know, there isn't a gameplay to fix it. Hmm. And at least the path I once thought originally would just simply make this white block cut off from the rest of the other blocks. Hmm. Actually, let me try something here. What's with this one here? And then there are those two white blocks with these two black blocks, so... I guess that didn't work either. Also, they don't make it easy for you to try and Say, avoid stepping on any unnecessary panels. Oh, wait, it's kind of the same problem, I think, as I had before, was about not being able to block that one line off. I do feel like I need to just simply go up, over, then above, through... No, that wouldn't work. I would have to... Well, I would have to do it like that. didn't do it either. <sighs> I guess if there was only a way I could make sure that those blocks were completely cut off. But, well, yeah, it seems like the idea is you need to be able to make sure that every every block is separated and that none exists within the other, which is the issue here, at least, with these two connected to those two. Hmm, let me clear this, at least. So I can at least go forward to this block here and, and clips it there.
why that wouldn't really work. Yeah, sorry if I'm spending too much time trying to think on this one. It's, uh, I guess it is one of the harder ones since the obvious answer doesn't work, so you have to kind of find a workaround for it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bean Without Borders. It's, it's nice that, uh, a lot of the people who seem to really enjoy watching this game apparently don't mind if people are patient with you. Uh, I'm, you know, but then again, it, it takes all different types when it comes to gaming. Uh, those who watch for the action and those who watch for the aha moments. Let's see. That's the only problem. If that spot, or if that, if the end point wasn't at that edge there, it is would be a lot simpler. Now, I try to provide at least some discussion for people to talk about as well while I'm trying to play my games, because sometimes the games themselves don't always have a lot to say, but I guess with this one, with how much planning was involved, probably has plenty to say. You just need to s be able to see it sometimes. But, uh, of course, that's just my opinion. Let's see, so... And don't forget, if you uh, like what I'm doing, then go ahead and hit that follow button. I always appreciate the support wherever I can, wherever I find it. You know, all I ask is your followship and to check up on me every now and then whenever you have the time. I'm always doing plenty of other stuff than just staring at a purple screen trying to solve a puzzle. I wonder if that would work. Let's give it a try here. Okay, so I have those two... Or no, there's the third one, there's the black block there. And that's kind of open, so that's not going to work, is it? Eh, yeah, that's not going to work. What was I trying to do? Was because going just in a straight line up and over wouldn't do it. Hmm. <laughs> ah yes, the old pen and paper. I remember used to using that quite a bit as a kid for some of the games I played. Super Mario RPG being one of them, just because of the that one forced maze where you had to remember to go up, down, left, right, all the different directions for whenever you went into those, you know, force that keep giving you going around in circles. And they still implement games, or uh, force like that to this day in a lot of RPGs. Hmm. If I only had more paper around here, I have too many just receipts for stuff. Well, let me think about it a bit more in my head here. So, or 
first, let's just establish the uh, beginning point here. Because the idea is, uh, in the directions you can go in to solve or get to the end point here, you can go up and over, or under and over, through, and that's about it. Those are only the three directions you can go in. Otherwise, you'll block it off any other way and you won't be able to end it. So in one of those directions, you kind of have to be, you know, and those are the only three directions you can go. But we've already established going up and across can't work because, uh, you know, trying to separate the, because of that one broken panel that they decided to add, of course. And as far as I know, I don't think there's a way to put it back or to make it work again or something. It's only this darn panel. Hmm. So the question is, is there another solution that works or not? Which I believe there has to, otherwise this puzzle wouldn't work at all and it'd be broken. Let's see. But of course, you know, uh, don't forget to talk some amongst yourselves if you if you guys have anything to chat about while uh, watching me try to solve this. Because uh, I'm not sure how much long how much how long I want to work on it. Because sometimes it does help to just simply take a few steps back and work on something else for a bit before coming back to a hard puzzle. I find that at least helps every now and then. So I might look at this for another few minutes before. Uh, trying a different puzzle because there was still that one back in the maze that I didn't get to either. Yeah, that that's a pretty good idea, trying to solve it in, in reverse. I, I think I do have a bit of an idea of what I need to do now. Uh, for To solve this one so far, but let's see. Yeah, I think I think I have an idea now. Let's see if it works. That should have done it. Oh, okay, I, I, yeah, that didn't work just because I, I only, I got those three, but then this got cut off and 
That didn't work. Because I do feel like I need to... So it looks like with this one, uh, at least to make it work, I have to be able to... Hmm. Yeah, I got pretty close with this one. So, let's see. But the issue, of course, as I said here, was that I got these three just fine. It's just this one that's left out in the cold. And of course, learning from any mistakes or uh, uh, failed attempts you do can help a lot. And kind of like, because at least in this sense, uh, the issue here was that these two blocks got included with this one too, after I was able to enclose these. So is there a way for me to close it off so that these aren't uh, around anymore or interacting with the white block over here? Man, this game gets really quiet, doesn't it? Didn't even realize it before, but there's really isn't any much music to it, is there?
me try a different maneuver here. Let's see. No, I wanted not to do that. Hmm. I guess technically this should work just fine. I think that should work. And of course it doesn't. Still doesn't fully cut them off, does it? Yeah, that's that, that seems to be my only issue is just these blocks here that are still open. Oh, okay. Well, I know. I see what I need to do now. I need to do this entire line and cut it off here and then go through there. All right. Let's see if that will work. Finally. Eesh. <laughs> I feel like it, it, it seems so simple now for what it was, and yeah, I was maybe racking my brain too hard on it. And we got all these statues here, each of them kind of showing off some sort of human figure. Which I'm guessing, of course, has some sort of purpose, but we'll find out as we go along here. Okay, now we got the green bar thing with the yellow lines which I still haven't figured out or haven't been taught yet so I'm just going to ignore those for now and just uh, and this leads me back to over here now which where I came from the purple one so now uh, yeah and you can actually see it from up above here if you want but yeah it looks I guess I might be here a bit too early since I haven't learned about some of the other puzzles yet. Or how to do some of the other puzzles yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then there was this one too, which I hadn't figured out yet either. Of course, there is that tower there that would help in trying to see from above. All right, I think I've I've done enough around here for now. I think I'm going to try and look around the island a bit more and see what else I can find cuz it does feel like maybe I'm here a bit too early or so. Yeah, 
least they do give you plenty of uh, paths here. Okay, what's what's this one? Okay, this looks like another teaching one, but okay, there's that yellow cube, so I'm guessing I need to cut it off, just like, uh, you know, this kind of like how the black and white ones were. Hmm. This one apparently has two, so... Apparently that didn't work. Oh, okay, so that's how the yellow cube thing works. Is that you kind of have to create the shape with the line. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so that, that starts kind of making sense now. Yeah, yep, didn't work there. Doesn't work there. That would be how it works, but because of the blocks, it makes it look like that. Or, or yeah, okay, this, this is how it should look then. Then, of course, we have a much bigger one here. That doesn't look right. That's not going to be right either. Yeah, I guess I, I sort of have to cut it off, don't I? Or shape it a little bit. Okay, yeah, so I at least have to create one shape with the line to have that symbol there. That's kind of how this seems to work. Alright, and uh, I'm going to take a just a little short break here, get some water, stretch my legs a little, and of course I'll be right back to continue some more of the witness to see just how much further we can get for today's stream. So I'll be right back.
Alright, let's uh, get back to it then. Uh, I try not to take too long with most of my breaks, just because it's... At least shouldn't be too tiring, but... Let's see. Okay, this one... We need to have three blocks. Well, I guess that didn't work for it. Because the this one didn't seem to fit. Okay, why why isn't that not working? I thought that would work, but apparently not. Or, oh, maybe because I'm doing too many. Like, it should only be one and I'm doing two or something? Is that it? That probably wouldn't work. Hmm. Okay, this is... I guess a little confusing to me, to me, because I thought I was getting this right, and that I was creating the shapes. Oh, okay, that's that's probably what's off about it because of the uh, extra block here that's being made. Because yeah, then I cut pretty much cut it off completely there. I feel like this gets cut off completely here. This should be correct then, because I have this block here, I have this here, and I have this one here, but it still isn't being happy about it. It's not doesn't really help that I kind of see my shadow here. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that I created uh, either one that time. So this one that I first create is fine.
guess I'm finding this a bit confusing why it's complaining so much. Kind of weird to try and do it at this angle now, though, but I'm curious to see if my shadow is actually causing any problems or not. I don't feel like there's an easy way of completely cutting it off like it wants me to. Kind of like what I can do here. Like I can do it this way, which I would feel like should work. But it keeps complaining that that's, that isn't right. Even though I have three horizontal blocks all put together. Like it wants them to. Oh, there's actually a bunch back here. So I guess I should probably try interacting with these and see how this goes. Well, this is definitely a harder one, isn't it? Oh, really? Oh. I guess I didn't realize that because of how it was shaped, it just simply formed a cube then. Instead of just being, you know, two separate objects that you had to create, so... 
I guess does that mean for this one here I just simply create this oh okay so that's starting to make more sense now at least is that it's almost like addition really you sort of add the pieces together So that one was over there, so it worked, but this one, I believe, encompasses these two. Yeah, that didn't work because I was separating them there. Well, that didn't work because these two blocks were here, so... Yeah, because of this block here. Yeah, this is another tough one, isn't it? Like, that one was simple enough because it just simply added the two together, but position also is important for these as well. But unless I encompass these two with these two, and then cut it off like this, that's how it should look. But, uh, of course, that blocks this part off here. Or maybe not, actually. Okay, so... So it doesn't matter which one is on which side, it's just as long as it's next to one of those blocks to create it, it seems to work. Oh. Well, I guess that makes better sense now, doesn't it? Let's see, let's go ahead and check this one. Hmm. Apparently that doesn't work. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so apparently it doesn't even matter what where this block down here is, as long as it just contains all the blocks needed to do it, I guess. Well, maybe that other one I was dealing with will make hopefully more sense now. Four, five, six, seven. So this one has at least an extra block to it. So instead of being like this one here, it would be more like that. Or more like this, I guess. Well, hey, so that does work. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the harder ones to remember for the puzzles, isn't it? <laughs> Eesh. Oh man, this one. So they at least... So the main condition is that it has to encompass them both. And it can't be more than what it is. 
So it, this wouldn't work out at least, because it has one extra block than it should. Hmm, so maybe more like this. Or no, that... See, there should be six. Right now this is only five. Yeah, I guess that doesn't work. So the blocks have to be two horizontal. And then the four together like that. Because this wouldn't work because, you know... And don't forget to hit that follow button if you like what I'm doing here. I always appreciate the support and the extra followers. Uh, so, and, you know, lets you know what what it is I'm doing or when I'm uh, online, usually streaming Monday through Fridays. So, it's all on my, uh, on the bottom of my channel here. But, let's see... No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. So it didn't matter where this was, as long as it was within the space. So if it was up here, or over there, or down there. As long as both were in it, and it, uh kind of fit. It seemed to work. If you could see both of the uh, symbols within it. So yeah, this wouldn't work because of that. Uh, too bad there weren't two extra blocks for this, would you know, and or that would be solved right now. Hmm. Definitely having a lot of trouble with this one. Maybe in this case, I'm just supposed to kind of separate them. Kind of like this. Or no, that doesn't work, because then there's just the extra block there, and then there are these two extra blocks here. either. It does help to go back and look over these, but definitely uh, you need to kind of think about what it is that you uh, pretty much have to uh, what it is you need to do for the line, and how the rules kind of it would help to have the rules kind of listed, but I guess you could just write it down on a piece of paper for each of these different puzzle types. The rule in this case for these for this one is that you kind of have to have the cubes in a certain shape, and that they both have to be within the uh, line. So in this case, we need to have at least six, uh, six of these here. 
but you know they you know you can't have both of them cut off It definitely is kind of hard trying to figure out some of these puzzles. Because, like in this case, you kind of have it so that uh, you have the correct number of blocks, but one there kind of up like this, and then, uh, and then they don't get both covered. Uh, for, thanks for the uh, tips. Uh, being without borders, I uh, it's always kind of one of those kind of things you think about. You know, I was trying to separate them like this. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't work because you have them separated, but uh, th that one... Hmm. Actually, wait. No. Mm, almost. It's too bad it can't just be like this. But I know if I do, or if I try to go over, and just, hmm. It's always hard trying to figure out some puzzles after a while, especially if you've been working on them for quite a while. that way. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was just a different endpoint too, which is kind of the issue as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was... <laughs> I didn't even think about it, I just... It's, there it is. Okay, I, I'm not sure what happened there. I, I, I can't tell you for certain. <laughs> I just kept trying things, and then all of a sudden it clicked. It was weird. <laughs> I... Yeah, the human mind, it can be pretty weird how it works sometimes. Okay, so now we're back at this one. So the idea here... ...is that we can kind of... Hmm, would it be...? No, that seems like there's too much, so...
So I can so the idea for this shape would be kind of like a giant H thing. But I'm not sure if that's how it would work. Yeah, apparently it wasn't happy with that. Even though technically, well, okay, yeah, the issue was probably that block down there. So. Yeah, there we go, actually. Hmm, okay, it wasn't happy with that. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need to include all the elements. So each block needs to be a part of the other. So like this one... Then this one... No, that doesn't work. Yeah, because then I just have that one there. And that's how this one works, but then the middle one here won't work because of that block right there. I guess I'm not sure. Yeah, that doesn't really work that way. Hmm. I'm still not happy with that. I wouldn't be happy with that either. It seems to be the issue with trying to do the three blocks together in this case. Like, I'm trying to keep them separated like this, but I can't cut them off completely like this. Because it doesn't seem to work that way. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it can work this way. There we go. Hmm, okay, so I got this side apparently powered on, but what about this side? Guess I need to do something over there or something? Huh. Maybe I can at least follow where this line goes. Yeah, for the most part, I don't see where else to go for now, so I guess I'll have to go this way. More things need to connect to each other. <laughs> Sync about it. Uh, A.K.A. said Treus. Uh, yeah, that's... I, I guess, you know... You know, thankfully I got through that, and I see where this line sort of goes. It's going... Supposedly it looked like it was going out this way, but... I don't see where else it leads. And I can't really seem... And I, apparently I can't swim. 
Now, I don't see... I thought I looks like this puzzle solved, but it just doesn't seem to have this side turn on for some reason. Hmm. Oh, I, I, okay, I sort of see these yellow panels here look to be in the shape of a T. Uh, hey, uh, Sekal, Sekald, Sekapa, ah, sorry, <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure how best to pronounce your name, uh, Skald. Yeah, it's shaped like the letter T. At least that's how I see it right now. And there's apparently some more blocks over there, but... Hmm, I guess, does it want me to solve this in a certain way, then? Or, no, that's not how it would best look. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Hmm. Be nice if it was just as simple as doing it like this, but... Ah, okay. Yeah, I guess that's s supposedly what, uh... Um, our pr our friend As A.K.A. Satreus was kind of saying or mentioning here. So the one I th so the way I did it originally was like this, where I just got both parts and then got the last one like this here. So then the next so then the for the next solution. I guess for those two, I don't, s or at least to encompass those two within the shape here, I don't see how, well actually, yeah, actually, funny enough, it actually looks like a T, doesn't it? It's actually a lot like the shape uh, uh, for the um, puzzle here, actually. <laughs> wow, seriously, that many different solutions? Hey, stranger, strangest stranger, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, first time playing, of course, and apparently everyone has their own. Says there are plenty of solutions to this one puzzle alone. So, supposedly I need to think of one more, though, to maybe get to unlock this other one side here. Yeah, see, you're quite the chatty bunch, aren't you? Now you all you were talking, <laughs> but hey, it's it's great for the chat to, to talk to each other and talk about this. Because as I said, this is my first time playing Witness, and so for the most part, I try to see uh, a solution to a problem. But uh, I guess I haven't seen the second one yet. Right now, I see that the solution I gave it is almost is exactly the way I have it over here but supposedly there's a second one that I need to do if I want to unlock this next part here <laughs> and yes I am American I live in the US well hey there it's good good thing we have so many know-it-alls in the world right you know that way uh, there's a lot more to for people to, so there are plenty of more people to ask you if uh, they're ever stuck on something. Hmm. Yeah, the sun is shining on my side. Let's see. So, what else is there?
So I need to encompass this guy, of course. No, that didn't work. Okay, there's only two paths I can go for to that spot there. <laughs> Alright, let me put this back together then. Because I did see that the two... Uh, that... Or that the way I had it in one way was the same as kind of the answer I had here. Like, I see the T, and I see the three over there separated from each other. There's a bunch of plants all around, but I don't think that kind of works out that way. So I see it this way, then there's this way, <laughs> well, you know, and it, the answer that someone already knows, uh, it's much, comes much easier to, to the one who's still figuring it out, and like I do see that the answer I got here is a lot like the way I have it. Uh, in the answer that I did before, so then, but then you kind of talking about the second answer, which I'm trying to figure out now. Because there are a few different ways you can look at it. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good hint, actually, if you do actually look to see that they do try to include the environments within the puzzles that they have. Yes, just do it meme. It's really... It's, tries to make it as best as he can. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what it is I need to do for this next part here. Hmm. I guess that's the thing with this one, isn't it? The the issue being that you try to make sure that uh, the only cubes that get in are the ones that are part of the puzzle. Hmm. Because I remember before I was trying it this way, which of course wasn't working because, you know, of that one having too many blocks within it and that one apparently not being fit either. Okay, I think I sort of see it now. No, almost. For a second I could, I was trying to do it in the reverse, but the issue with that is that you cut off that one block there. That didn't work. Hmm. 
Here, I'm doing it in the reverse in a different way that I need to do it. I know, I guess that's kind of the issue with trying to incorporate this one here. Is that the three bl y three yellow blocks are, uh, you know, like this one makes it so that you really could only go through this side or this side, but then you kind of don't have this one cut off here. Like, like this way would work if, uh, let's see. I guess trying to do the reverse T on this side is kind of the issue, isn't it? Because it doesn't really work out that way. Because the T I had here just extended to this side and I was able to kind of go up and over. But in this one, if I do that, then I cut this off here. And if I try going under, then it leaves this open. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I could probably use some vodka right about now, but I try to avoid drinking too much. It's too expensive sometimes. I guess that's sort of how I see it, but I just can't seem to navigate it the right way. Okay, for the most part, the only way I could see ending it would be from down here. <laughs> Let's see. So the idea is three blocks up and three blocks across. With the two being incorporated within it. Oh, there we go. Finally. Just had to go a little bit further. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> hmm, this bridge is really slow, though, and just trying to move over, isn't it? Come on, I can step over this. Easy. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, finally got that through. Of course, now we have another door here that we can't do anything about. Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. We got uh, some more tutorials, I guess. So this one has three, three, and four. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hmm. I'm not sure. I know that I've had one guy being able to whisper m to me links before, and I think uh, you can do it with stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a good. That seems like a good reason to have it that way, at least. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do the whisper on Twitch. Really, I haven't used it that much myself. That's sadly it's not happy with that, but it only wants two of these here, so. Okay, that wouldn't work. Okay, yeah, that's how it should sort of look like, so I just need to do it in a way that uh, works so that I can finish it. Yeah, that didn't work. I sort of ha have to make that giant T again in this case, except it's much wider. But it's it's kind of you you sort of want to see shapes sometimes in some things. I guess that's the issue. I keep kind of rounding around trying to wrap it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, this does seem like a game you can get stuck just staring at for hours on end, and then it's like, ah, oh, crap, I, I have somewhere I need to be, don't I? Ah, oh, yeah, thanks for the, uh, letting us know Beans Without Borders. Let's see, how do I get this one solved? Oh, there we go. I think that should do it. Why didn't that work? Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, that's it. It's missing two, isn't it? Because you sort of have to, e you know, it's kind of like taking those numbers and e or you add to it. So I need to incorporate at least maybe the those two extra or something as well. Not that. Okay, so there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten cubes. And the way I was doing it before only had um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was missing two. <sighs> Let's see. There's that, that again. Yeah, 
I had too many cubes there. Like this is a four by four, so there's twelve. So that means I only need to cut out two then, actually. But I do need to at least incorporate one completely with four across. Eh, yeah, sadly that didn't work. That's an interesting way of having a symbol, isn't it? Where it's just like this. Or almost like that, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how I would try and type those symbols up on my uh, computer here, but then this is just a regular English quirky computer anyway. There's still a bunch of others here. Because the way I was doing it before didn't seem to like it that way, because I thought I didn't have enough cubes to equate it out. Yeah, because it only wants, you know, three, three top, three, four to the side. Ah. Yeah, this is gonna definitely going to be one of those games I'm going to, it's going to take me a while to work on. Oh, hey, there's another one here. This one even more complicated because there's three different yellow ones this time. So that didn't work, sadly. So it said it was happy with this one, apparently. Since I got that separated on its own. And then, of course, this one didn't get that way, though. It has too many blocks on it. I was trying to do this back this one backwards. Oh, 
Oh, hey, that worked. Uh, this one's the same one, except a much smaller scale. Or it's a, instead of a 5x5, five five, it's a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> well, at least I'm not using it. I, I just, uh, or uh, I don't use it too often myself, but I just go through my web browser usually to access Twitch most of the time. But eventually I might have to use the app to do more more stuff with it. No, that doesn't work cuz then this one's open to that and then I can't access it. Alright, good to know. Yeah, that didn't work. Hmm, I guess technically the way I was doing it sort of works. The only problem is because of the... Hmm, actually, did, would this work the same way? Or... up then or in this case here this is where I'd normally cut off but because of that it sort of gets added on but then that one gets sidetracked there but Nope. Hmm, funny enough, this entire length here gets covered, so I don't have to have to cut off the one I did here. The only thing that gets cut off in this case... ...would be this one in this spot here. Or, no, it would be pretty much these two spots right here. Yeah, pretty much these two squares down here are what get cut off in the puzzle. So if I can just isolate them... But then I, t you know, stop that from working either. Yeah, that one is off because this one is open. So I need to be able to somehow cut off those two points there so they don't mess with a four stack here. <sighs> Yeah. 
here we go, this, no, that doesn't work, because uh, then this gets even cut off here. Yeah, so those two did get created, but it's the same problem I had before with this one. In this case, those two are and those two are still there, so that's my only problem I'm running into. That's still the only way I kind of see it. <laughs> uh, seven foot fiend, how's it going? Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, first time playing through this game and all, and all, all I keep getting stumped on so many different line puzzles. It this doesn't feel like a game you should try to marathon, if you ask me. <laughs> like this, some this feels like something you do a few puzzles, then take a break, do a few more, take a break. Uh, you know, you kind of, you do this over a period of maybe several days or weeks, not in the span of, like, uh, several hours. So. <laughs> yeah, especially if you decide to try and do everything for it. And, because who knows how much extra stuff they try to put in here. Like, I, I'm, who knows if they try to put in any collective or just so many puzzles to figure out and do that you don't get them all on the first time. But hey, just to remind you guys if you haven't done it already, uh, go ahead and hit that follow button if you kind of like what I'm doing here and if you want to see more. Uh, I don't play Witness all the time, but I'll probably be... If you guys want to see me play it again, then just let me know and I'll make sure to go ahead and do that for next Friday. Usually Monday through Thursday I'm doing uh, either Fortnite or Dota 2. Maybe even some Hearthstone here and there. <laughs> you know, but yeah, just hit that follow button is all I ask for your viewership as your follows as well. If you want to donate, then go ahead and donate if you want. And I, I, I don't try to ask for hints when I can, but... Uh, eight, thanks for the follow, Seven Foot Fiend. Always appreciate the support. And, uh... Yeah, and I, I try not to ask too many hints. Like, when I'm going through a game, I do want to fully feel how, uh... Just the full struggle and achievement of doing it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, uh... I did pick up plenty of packs from... The Boons Day project, so I did. Uh, I have been able to experience it, even if uh, I don't feel like the Boons Day was maybe as fun as some of the other expansions. But uh, I shouldn't talk too much about Hearthstone since I am trying to play The Witness, even if uh, I'm sort of stuck on this one at least. Just because I tried to create a giant T apparently, but I now get a giant horseshoe too. So the question would be if there's any way I can kind of cut these out while that while still kind of creating these parts as well. Yeah, there's that one again. Oh, and actually I'm kind of... I, I messed this one up here in terms of... <laughs> like that one is fine the way it is, but this one is off. Yeah, that's the only problem I keep having, and so I either need to try and cut them out, or s find some way to isolate this one so it's just the way it should be. Because it's only pretty much these, or these two and these two on the fringes here that are cut out for the shapes here. Hmm? 
still the same problem. Oh well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try a different puzzle for a bit here, cause I'll I'll leave this to stew for a bit and see if I can go try out some other ones. Like apparently there's one over here. Oh no, that's being blocked by that fence over here. That looks like I if I want to in open it, I need to activate this one here. Yeah, I feel like I've, I, I'm maybe too stuck, uh, or I'm focusing too much on trying to complete one every time. Of course, I had trouble with this one, too. Just because I thought I got it right, but then... Wait, how did I originally do this? Yeah, well, uh, we I feel like we all should be entitled to our own opinions and likes and dislikes. So if there's a part you don't like for whatever your reason, then go ahead and give that reason to people. You know, and if they have a different reason for that, then that's their own reason for it. For me, at least, I've I've just been frustrated because I'm probably been I've been trying to work on this game for the last only three hours, apparently, and it feels like it's been an eternity. Trying to get through all these different puzzles and feeling like that, uh, that uh, my progress has been a bit sporadic. And, try and like, I'm not quite sure how much of an area I've completed, or, or maybe I should go back to one. Let's see... Yeah, I think, yeah, I'll, I think I'll, I feel like this section here is kind of, I'll leave this to stew for a bit and, wait, do I need to, wait, seriously? This isn't like a bridge that stays, I have to complete the, I have to reverse it again just to go across? Huh. That seems kind of annoying to try and have to do every time you want to cross this place. Oh well. Yeah, I guess I'll have to try this again, or... See, there is another path over this way that opens up. <sighs> Let's see... As I said, I, this is always how I seem to do it, so the question is, how do I keep these out as well? While keeping these to themselves. Yeah, I, it's kind of annoying to have a bridge that you have to keep solving back and forth. Even though if I do know, I know the answer to it, it's still just kind of a bit of a... I think this game's starting to give me a headache now. <laughs> I... Yeah, but it looks like uh, some people are leaving now, and I'm getting to the point where I might wrap things up in not too long here. See. Be nice if I could just do it like this. That'd be the answer, but sadly no. Let's see. Be nice if I could just do it like this a little bit, but no, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. Hmm, actually, I... See, I sort of have the idea to incorporate it. The 
pro the problem I keep having is that I keep cutting things off instead of just make trying to make it one giant shape with uh, this included. So the question is, how do I cut these off? I guess that's the problem, isn't it? Because these... Because the two blocks here are so far apart from each other, it's hard trying to create a shape into it that works. Because the way the shape I create, because of this cuts it off here, or and this doesn't get cut off up there. It's kind of the issue I'm having at least. Is that I create the shape for these two, but I keep leaving this uh, edge block out over here. And then that doesn't work either. Yeah, I have to trust that the developers were smart enough to actually have an answer for all of these, or th there would be no point to creating a game fully based on puzzles. But I think I'm just gonna finally move on here and reverse the curse, as it's called, or, re you know, just reverse it here. And try and check out the rest of this island around here. See what else there is to explore. Because after a certain point, I'm sure some people have had, you know, like, it's very rare for a game to give me this much frustration that I'm getting close to deciding to pick up my monitor and throw it somewhere. Or even just at least sacrifice my controller to the, you know, frustration gods. But, I guess that's just, you know, how much a game like this is really trying to test your limits in terms of a puzzle. Oh hey, there's another door here. But of course I can't open it from this side. But at least the uh, scenery is nice. I. Maybe that's kind of why they try to have this all beautiful, calming scenery with no music whatsoever. Trying to calm people from destroying their own stuff <laughs> because of how frustrated they are with this game sometimes. Yeah, it feels like they kind of create this whole environment just as a way of giving you something to run around in before you try to think at a puzzle again. At least that seems to be the idea to me. Oh hey, this is really pretty right here. I'm guessing there's something special about this, but... Let's see. Apparently there's a shaft down here. Plenty of flowers and a line that leads to a puzzle. And to whatever this one is over here. Oh, apparently there's a path down this way. Which leads into a green room quite literally a green room <laughs> uh, I wonder if that was their attempt at a joke right there and there's more colors which I'm guessing have some significance but we'll see what how they matter once we find a puzzle to incorporate in We got a nice flowing river here. This feels like a very place you can be zen in. 
they even got the water sounds right. Really wish there was like a sit down and meditate emote or something right here. This might actually help try to bring back my center. So let's see, so we got some foliage here. Actually, I guess I'm curious because I remember interacting with that ship once and that apparently that was itself a line puzzle. So. Okay, I guess I can't really do something like that with the flowers here. Nope. Nothing kind of around here at least. Let's see, and then... Okay, so we finally... Looks like we found a path to a puzzle here for a door. So let's see what we can do to solve this. There we go. Okay, we got a red room here. We got a yellow room with some other stuff here. Lots of other stuff. And a panel, of course, for more line puzzles. So, let's check this one out. Got that one unlocked. <laughs> yeah, this one seems really colorful and maybe not overly complicated. Mm, I think I got this right. Uh, nope. There we go. So it seems like I have to just make sure I separate all the colors from each other. No, not that way. What? No, that wouldn't work either. Nope, didn't doesn't work there. No, that wouldn't work. So the issue with this green one here is that there are two, is that the you have to pretty much cover these two sides at least to cut it off completely. Yeah, pretty much have to do it in that way. There we go. No, that doesn't work. So let's go over here, over here. Hmm. I thought that would have worked. Let's see. Oh, that's why the green to y white here is interacting, so I have to cut that off somewhere. And the purple here is interacting, so... Okay, so there's definitely a bit more going on here, at least. Oh, 
no, I, I, doing this completely cuts me off from the end point here. that at least. Now oh, the purple's interacting with the white one here. Yeah, that should or no, the the issue here is the green ones interacting, so All right. Have uh, see you later, seven foot. Thanks for checking me out. And for the follow, of course. Always appreciate that. See you later. But I'll probably be wrapping things up right after this puzzle probably here at this point, so you shouldn't miss out too much. Let's see. So yeah, the issue with this one is that the that the white one here is uh, still with the green. So if I do this here, yeah, that doesn't solve that. This is definitely one of the more tougher ones to deal with. Okay, yeah, there we go, that should do it. Wait, why didn't that work? Or, oh yeah, because I think they want the purple together, right? But I still need to separate the green out. Well, that doesn't work. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Yeah, because the purple's here, the white's here, and the green's here, and they're all cut off. Finally. Oh, and this just unlocks even more. I wasn't quite done just yet. But, uh, I think I'm gonna just end it here for now, because I'm sure I'm getting a headache, and uh, I'm sure there will be plenty more puzzles to solve as I, if I wish to continue playing The Witness, which I might do in my off time here and there. I'm not sure how much more I'll do stream live. But, thanks everyone for joining me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves, hoped you, you know, liked what I was doing, and hope to see you again next week. Uh, I always stream Monday through Fridays for usually four to five hours each day, Mountain Standard Time, from 11 a.m. to uh, 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, so that's when I'm usually streaming, uh, and you can check me out either playing Fortnite or Dota 2, or maybe some Hearthstone if... Uh, Wednesday rolls around for the Tavern Brawl or something new comes out. But, until next time, have fun gaming.